Hello out there everyone. Today I'm going to talk about this wonderful Criterion release of Richard Linklater's Slacker. A absolute must for anyone who considers himself a cinephile as well as someone who perhaps appreciates what Austin used to be. This film was made on the cheap uh, in 1989 and released in 1990 and the central conceit is basically just a camera following people around as they talk and then five or ten minutes later the camera goes to another character who happens to have walked by in the scene and it basically follows this format throughout uh, a day in Austin, Texas in the late 80s um, and you meet some pretty interesting characters along the way and uh, many have pointed to this film as being sort of uh, um, representative of the culture at that time where you had many people who had college degrees and for whatever reason just weren't uh, assimilating into the economy in ways that they would probably have expected. Um, and they just sort of live on the fringes, uh, living in a college town in this, in this case, just sort of walking around, having conversations, drinking coffee. It's in many ways uh, a bit reminiscent of Jim Jarmusch's Coffee and Cigarettes in that way. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's a film that I revisit from time to time and I always find something new out of it. Uh, this, this woman here apparently was, I believe, a member of the Butthole Surfers, of all things, a punk rock group. And she has a wonderful scene in it. Uh, I won't spoil it, but when you see her, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I believe Alex Jones, of all people, is in it. Um, you'll hear him at some point during the film ranting like a maniac. Um, and it's interesting because I think Linklater at one point early in his career was actually a friend of Alex Jones, but I think he's since distanced himself from him um, since he's just completely gone around the bend. But uh, in any case, this transfer, this is the standard def this is not the Blu-ray, but it has some wonderful supplemental materials as well as a nice new digital transfer um, of the film, which was filmed mostly in 16 millimeter and blown up to 35 millimeters for theaters. Um, but it has just some great documentaries on the city of Austin and the production of this film. Um, and you can see the case is really nice as well. It's got this nice hard bound case and then over here it includes this great little booklet with some production stills and other artwork from the film uh, and then here is the disc itself with a second disc that contains all of the supplemental materials um, but yeah, I, I love to go back and revisit this film. I've been to Austin several times, uh, first in 2003, so I, I wasn't there during its heyday. But um, it's a city that is still very cool, but I think it has been discovered and then some, to the point where a lot of what made Austin such a unique city has subsequently evolved into a more traditional um, just high-end expensive city to live in so with that I would just say seek this film out it's a really interesting look at um, you know late 80s culture and has some wonderful little references I think it's a, just a fabulous little time capsule so thank you everyone take care until the next time